Hey, hello everyone, and welcome to my walkthrough of Mario Kart Wii. Yeah, I know I said I wouldn't do a racing game, because you don't really have much walkthrough material in a way, but I decided to go for it anyway, just because, well, I don't really have my next walkthrough set up just yet, and I haven't played anything for a while, so I might as well just play something that I don't have to set up at all. <laughs> So, let's get this sucker started. I'm gonna be using the uh, Wii Remote Wheel, actually. The Wii Wheel, whatever you want to call it. Not the GameCube controller like a lot of people use. I like using the wheel. I don't know, it gives it a unique gameplay flavor. Anyway, let's just get this started. I'm gonna be playing through the 150cc cups. It doesn't matter if I win or lose or anything like that, since the gameplay of Mario Kart is pretty much randomized nowadays. Uh, it's very, very luck-based compared to older Mario Karts, I have to say. Uh, I recommend using lightweight characters on a bike, if at all possible, but I'm going to be rotating them just for the heck of it. I don't care if I win or lose, this is just going to be for fun, just to go through all the tracks. Yes, I'm going to do manual as well. And I'm, uh, yeah, going to go through all these in the Grand Prix mode thingy here. So let's get this sucker started. Uh, to get a rocket boost near the start. If I'm not mistaken, you have to hold the accelerate button, which is 2 on the controller, uh, right when the second light comes up. Like, you go 1, hold, and maybe that was too early. Yeah, I think that was too early. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since I played this game, so I don't really care all that much. The B button on the other side of your Wii Remote controller controls your uh, power slides. If you jerk the Wii Remote back when you are on a bike, you'll get this like wavy boost on straightaways like this. It's pretty handy to have. Press up or down to use items. Uh, it doesn't do a difference for items like stars, but if you shoot shells, if you press up, you'll move. I mean, you'll shoot the shell forward. If you press down, you'll shoot the shell backwards. And you get the idea. And whenever you are like on a jump or something like that, you can also jerk the uh, Wii Remote backwards, or I should say the Wii Wheel backwards, to do a jump. Like, I'll just do a mock jump right here, even though I'm going to take a hit. But whatever, like, we're just going to woo! Something like that, and you'll get a speed boost on your way back down. So, yeah, and these are also little boosts as well, and I'm doing horrible because I'm explaining everything. But I don't care, as I said, this is pretty much just for fun. Just to uh, put out some videos once again, because I haven't in a while. I prepare way too much for walkthroughs nowadays. I should just wing them more like I did uh, when I started making walkthroughs. It's a lot more fun that way, honestly. Anyway, someone's approaching me with a ginormous mushroom. But he didn't seem to reach me at all, so that's okay dokey with me. And I gotta say, there's a lot of drunk drivers around here. They're shooting at each other, including myself, and I did okay. <laughs> I did a lot better than I thought I would, that's for sure, coming in first. Then again, when I end up in first, like for the entire race, I usually get bombarded by red shells and blue shells, but that is the way of Mario Kart nowadays, since uh, Mario Kart DS, I would say. Mario Kart, <clears throat> Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart Wii, lots more luck involved than there were before, than there was before, and I've got to get the timing right on the uh, uh, turbo boost at the start all over again. Curse says this is what happens when I don't play for like, I don't know, a year? <laughs> this is just me winging things right here, and I'm still doing okay. The game isn't all that hard. It just takes a little bit of practice to get the hang of the tracks. Whee! Yeah! Oh, I bumped into the wall. <laughs> and this section, you gotta look out for Monty Moles. And, oh, that was poor timing on my part. It's not hard to get rocket boosts off of uh, jumps all the time. So, as I said, just really rusty. Oh, well, we're just riding through the farm here in this gentle, calming countryside, bumping into each other, having car accidents, the insurance... Co ah! Hitting cows as well, the insurance companies are bound to be called somewhere along the line. AAA is not going to like this whatsoever, but they're just going to have to deal with this anyway. We're just gonna go through. That's a fake item box right there. Uh, you can tell they're fake by upside down question marks as well as that they, when you approach them they turn a reddish pink color. That's another way to indicate that they are fake. Oh, and may I add that when you get bumped when you are doing that boost thing when you're on a bike, 
you'll lose your boost and you'll also slow down as well. So be careful not to use it too often when you're surrounded by people. Uh, it's great, uh, great for multiplayer games though, really, because you know it, it boosts the competitiveness of it. Because people will be like, oh, I see him doing that boost, I can bump into him. And then the person that gets bumped will be, will be like, Arr! and then everyone will be like, ha 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 ha, you get the idea. <laughs> And needless to say, I didn't take that ramp over there because, oh, because there was that blue shell blast coming in, and holy cow, that was a bad ending to that race. <laughs> oh, well. I tried, I got a little bit too greedy with that mushroom trying to bump into the guy, and oh, well, I'm still okay, I guess. Third race, here we go. Any day, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say anything now. Mushroom Gore just is one of my favorite races, if not the favorite, in the uh, first Mushroom Cup here of newer tracks. Uh, actually, it's not called the Mushroom Cup for the retro tracks. What am I thinking? I think it's like the Shell. No, it's Shell. What am I thinking? Oh, well, I'll see when I get back to the track list. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you can just boost your way across here, and I forgot to do a trick on that one. That was my fault that time. And I re recommend that you take this. This path right here, just go right across it like so. That's a lot faster than taking the other way, or at least that's what it seems like. Then we go into the deep, dark caves of the underworld. And this is like the most dangerous racetrack in the world. world. Holy poopers, who the heck could race on this track in real life? No one, not Sue. This is teaching kids bad driving habits that you should not, I mean, that you should go into caves, that's what it, the game is implying, but you shouldn't, that means this game is not kid-friendly, and I've already developed that kid-friendly joke in the first part, and I should have held off on it, I don't know, I'm just trying to bring up, oh, whoa, 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 bring up commentary, Blink. Woo! <laughs> and that was a bad timing on uh, the power slide there, but that's okay, and look how quick, uh, look how, like, Group together everyone is in uh, Mario Kart Wii as well, uh, I mean, in comparison to other Mario Kart games. Like, it's so easy to, for you to drop places really quickly in this Mario Kart, and even in Mario Kart DS, as opposed to other Mario Kart games. That's why I say this is Mario Kart kind of luck-based, so yeah, you get the idea. And you're going to notice that when you play this game, you're going to have a lot of unfair losses. Like, even if you play the best you possibly could play, you're going to still have incredibly unfair losses. There's no way around it. Like, right there, I almost got knocked off the cliff, and I would have had no other choice but to get knocked off the cliff if that would have happened. But I didn't, so I got a little bit lucky on that part. So I guess luck was with my side there. Anyway, final lap. Hopefully this will go well. Hopefully there won't be any blue shells to screw me over. <laughs> Uh, I got an item to go my way. Oh, you can also hop a little bit. Oh, poo -poo. whoa, 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 whoa. You can also hop a little bit by pressing the uh, B button on the underside of your controller instead of power sliding if you want to. That may also help you with things, and this looks like it's going to be a good outcome. Yeah! Woohoo! Wheelies for the win. And I'm back to first place. Woohoo! <laughs> I guess it's realistic in the way that uh, places get shuffled around as opposed to older Mario Karts where the first place character usually takes first place every single time or most of the time at least, so if you get first or second uh, unless you intervene but you get the idea if you've played other Mario Karts so I guess it's, it's, it's more human luck than other Mario Karts in a way that the positions get shuffled around more than other Mario Karts as well, so I guess it balances out in the end. But hopefully, ah, hopefully I'll be able to win the majority of these races and not get a face full of crates at every corner. So we've got ourselves a cliff that we gotta look out for. Also, these treadmills right here change positions on each lap, so make sure to pay attention to that. Uh, like on the next lap, we'll be taking the inside of the track instead of the outside to get the boost on that. Oh, no, 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 shell! Oh, first. Why didn't I fire my shell backwards to block the shot? Urgh. That's what I get for being rusty curses. <laughs> but I'm still a happy Koopa after all, anyway. So, lap two, here we go. Try and stay towards the inside of the track as well. That is the key to racing games, if you didn't know that. The smaller the circle you make, the faster you'll go around the track. And also, don't get a face full of crate, as I said before. Oh god! <laughs> oh no, not the lightning bolt, the thunderbolt of doom. Pikachu has been let loose upon the world! 
And look, now the treadmills are on the other side. And whenever you get hit by it, no, not a blue, double blue shell attack. Oh no, he got just one. Oh, okay, got a little worried there. Anyway, whenever you get hit, hit by a thunderbolt, you shrink down the size, and you can be squished as well as losing speed. And you also spin out at the moment that you get hit by the thunderbolt. Wow! Success! Well, for the second lap, I'm doing pretty decent, I have to say. Hopefully I'll be able to get a first place victory, and I'm not going to get past that piston, am I? Well, that's okay. That's the way of Mario Kart. Some things just don't go right on your laps every single time. There's going to be some pro that's going to write in the comments. He's going to be like, Oh, you can't do that if you get around the track in so and so much time. But I don't care because I'm just playing this for fun. And because that's what games are all about. And shake the Wii Remote before the power block hits you and you won't spin out quite as bad. <laughs> Woo! That's the secret to avoiding the normally unavoidable pal block, and it's not really all that unavoidable to begin with. And should I be on this side? I don't know. Oh no, I'm gonna be stuck in the mud. Stuck in the mud. Oh, poopers! Get over! Go, 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 go! Yeah, successful, Pika Gang. It's successful, and that means I took first place in the first cup. Okay, I'll just show you this winning sequence once. It's basically the same for every single one of them, so I'm not going to show it every time. Just in this first part, so I'm going to show it. Next parts, I'm going to go right through it, cut right through it, and off the part. So this is basically shows the first, second, and third place winners of the tracks. Go, my Koopa friend, go! Woo! That looks awfully dangerous. How the heck do you do that? I've never heard of a biker that could jump off their bike and land on it like that. Even pro bikers, they don't actually let go of their bike. <laughs> you know, when they do tricks and stuff like that. Or at least I don't think they do. I'm pretty sure they like, they like hold on to it with their feet or their hands or something. And yes, I got the trophy and the poopy rank. Well, that's okay. I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part when I do the flower cup. Actually, let's let's confirm something here, because I wanted to see what the uh, name of the retro cup tracks were. I'm just gonna. I didn't mean to click that, but whatever. <laughs> I guess. Okay, it is the Shell Cup, so it's Mushroom Flower, Star Special, then Shell, Banana, Leaf, and Lightning. Okay, see you in the next part, hope you enjoyed.